Some weeks I like to go all extra in my pages, and this is one of those weeks. Today we will be decorating the Hobonichi Cousin weekly pages, and I'll be creating my own little scene using the sticker sheet from AliExpress. It has a very cute theme, and together with that, I'm going to be using one of these washi tapes, also from AliExpress, and these are the grid washi. They're very simple washi, and I decided to use one of these because I wanted the focus all to be on the decorations that I will be putting down. So first, I'm going to put down the washi so that I have a guide and I can visualize what I want the design to be towards the end. So I'm just putting it at the top and I'm also putting it at the bottom as you have seen. And this has a very dark color and the stickers that I'm using actually are also very bright. But before I put down those decorative stickers, I'm going to be highlighting the dates that are up the top because I don't want the blue washi to take away from them. And since they kind of get lost because the blue washi is very blue, I wanted to make them a little bit more colorful. So I'm putting the square stickers on top of the dates as well as the days of the week. And I'm switching between colors. So I put the red on Sunday because it's a very special day, brown on Saturday, and then the rest of the week is going to be blue. And then I'm doing the exact same color coding on the days of the week, albeit using different colors, but it's the same theme. So now that the page is ready, I'm going to go ahead and create the scene in the left side of the page first. So this is a garden themed sticker sheet and it's composed of very tiny stickers and it can be quite overwhelming at first, but if you have a goal in mind or an idea, a design in mind, it can be quite fun. So on the left side, I started with like an orchard kind of decoration. And then on the right side at the top, I'm going to put down the actual garden theme. So I've decided to put down all the flower themed ones or stickers on the right side of the page. And as you can see here, it's going very well and I really like how these stickers look together and the colors of the stickers that I'm using is a little bit not very faithful to real life but that is all right and I do have a lot of stickers left so I'm putting them down at the bottom and as you can see here there are tinier stickers with also a garden theme but not exactly the ones that are as pretty as the ones that I put up top. So these are just the remainder of the stickers on the sheet and I just wanted to use all of the stickers from that sheet. And let's see how I do it. So this is the last little area that I wanted decorated and this has the most um, scattered theme, I should say. And it has a lot of the tinier elements but I still have a lot of the bears and I think the bears are the highlight of this sticker sheet and I'm just layering them so that it looks like the washi is the ground. So you have that line there and I have actually managed to use all of the stickers and I think it's quite pretty. So now we're going to move on to filling up the pages and I'm using the typo dual ended brush pens to give it a little bit of color. So I'm also just going to use the exact same fountain pen that I've been using in my Hobonichi Cousin, which is the Lamy Vista, and it is in the F nib. If you're wondering, the ink that I'm using is the J Urban Pearl Noir, and it's just a basic black ink. I really like this ink because it's watery, so if you're using a really thin nib, thinner than the F nib, it's still going to work out well. I pulled this functional sticker sheet that is also from Daiso and these are actually PED stickers and I'm using a sharpie to write over it. And then I'm continuing with my habit trackers and I'm also using the brush pen so the pen end of this brush pen um, 
to write down the days of the week for my habit trackers. So I'm keeping it all in the same color theme. So if the color is used in the stickers that I put down or the washi, then it's going to make it onto this spread. So if you'd like to write more things down, just keep that in mind to make them all in the same color family so that it looks more cohesive. And that is the sidebar done. And now I'm going to move on to the days of the week. So I'm going to color all of the work hours that I have for the week. And this is actually two weeks from next week. <laughs> And I should have posted this earlier, but I didn't have time to really edit it properly. So I decided to just leave it until I had the time to spend on editing this video. And I'm very sorry for that, but I'll try to manage my time better. I don't have a lot of deadlines so far next week. So I'm guessing there will be a lot more videos this week or this coming week than the last week or the week before that so I have been really bad also I've been working out lately and it is going very well I am still quite motivated even though it's been three weeks since I started working out a few times a week maybe five times every week and this is the finished spread so it's highly decorative. It took a while to do this. The actual footage is maybe an hour, but it looks pretty good and it's worth every second. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.